right. Well, uh, why don't you slice into that thing, Scott? Okay. Mm. Get going here, and I'll, uh, I'm going to sound off our, our intro. For your AM, ASMR, <laughs> folks. <laughs> the sound of the <laughs> wheels pizza, spinning. Pizza ASMR. Here we go, right here. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to have to stand on it. Don't leave me. Ah. I'm excited about this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Switches cutting so we can start talking about this yet, or are we gonna wait? Uh, <laughs> tell me, start a little bit. You never know. All right, welcome back to the OKest Cook podcast. I am Chris Wansettler, your host, joined with Andy Heiser. So how are we doing today, sir? With you on the and corner. we are again not in my kitchen. No, we are in it's a becoming, stunning kitchen. A, yeah, Thank it's like you. a traveling road show, and we've got to be seen some cool places. We've seen some cool kitchens, and I'm, I'm getting a little jealous of all the things. <laughs> uh, but we are we are in the home of a couple pizza makers, Scott and Carly Latuzic. Yeah, Latuzic. I Latusik. always forget. I ask and I forget. You asked. Um, and apologies. Forgot. But um, yes, you guys are. Just pizza makers. Like, yeah, just you're doing your own thing. Just you like pizza. We are Friday night pizza makers. Yeah. Sunday morning quarterbacks, yeah. Friday night pizza makers. <laughs> yes. 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 Nice. So the weekend warriors of the pizza game. Yes, yes. Go. So nothing official. Right? Yeah, you don't you don't sell this anywhere. It's just it's here for you and mm-hmm. your family and, and the people that and you friends. choose to invite over. Sure, yes. yeah. Yes. That's yes. exactly right. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Um well, before we get into the, the real meat and potatoes here, I mean, the, the, the dough and the, the dough and the cheese. Good yeah. idea. The and the cheese. Meat and potatoes. We haven't tried that on a pizza. No, we haven't. Potato, 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 potato. <laughs> Your every word is yes. a suggestion. <laughs> yes. Well, that's, a, that's, that's why we're here, mm-hmm. you know, to, to inspire and to cultivate these ideas. Um, did you guys have any fun meals this week you want to chat about? Andy, oh can, Andy can go while, while you guys are thinking. So <laughs> yeah. This can be just like anything you've eaten. It doesn't I, have to I, be what we're talking Obviously, you guys about. have listened to every episode we've ever recorded, right? Obviously. Oh, every okay. single right. one. Yeah. <laughs> so we usually start out with like uh, just a fun thing we've had throughout the week, something that if we've, if we've tried something here recently that's new or different, um, that's usually the case. Usually, we try to be things that we've actually cooked ourselves. Um, mm. But most of the time, it, sometimes we deviate from like, most, I went to this cool restaurant. Most of mine have been just yeah. fun things I saw on Instagram or, that yeah, I want Chris is <laughs> usually wants to try. <laughs> I'm the wild all, card. Yeah. Um, so to kick things off, um, actually um, uh, had a little, had a nice little short I don't know, restaurant scenario here. Um, was at an Italian restaurant. I'm spacing on the name. It's downtown oh. Indianapolis. It's Italian. Um, Iozo? Iozo? Z-Z-O. I don't know. It's an old school Italian place. It's been there forever. Lots show of notes. Lots of we'll, things. We'll put we'll it in put the show, it notes. show notes. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, was going to go with the old, you know, kind of basics of things. And I saw they had a short rib dish on the, on the menu. And, you know, me being able to like find something Italian that I can eat that's not pork based. I um, was like, yes, we're definitely doing that. And I just did that with, uh, uh, I think rigatoni was the pasta that was underneath it. it was, oh my gosh, it was so good. So it's del- del- delicious. I actually stopped myself from eating all of it so that I could bring some home and <laughs> that have is it a again. skill. So that yeah. was like a, I was like, I'm a, yes, we will have an appetizer. Yes, I will have a salad because I'm bringing some of this home. That was so good. <laughs> nice. But nice. That was mine. Yeah. If you guys need some more time. No. Right. You're go. good to go. <laughs> go I can get go out. whenever you want. Yeah, up. I do. Do you want to know about today? <laughs> I'll tell you about today. Today was. Tell us about today. Was uh, just a drive and disappointment. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I don't know if you've seen this, but Wendy's. The high end establishment, Wendy's. And <laughs> it's not everywhere. The one, um, Dave's place. Yeah. Dave's yeah. place. Yeah. yeah, the one he named after his daughter. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the one. <laughs> Are serving Krabby Patties. I saw that online. And I'm like, oh, it's just the hamburger. It's not, no, it's got a special Krabby sauce. And I said, well, that changes everything. So I went to Wendy's, and the Wendy's I went to was closed. Oh, come Christ. on. Oh, just, so I, I, I didn't know what to do with that. I mean, point. you wouldn't get. Krabby Patties anyway. Oh yeah, well, oh, no. okay. <laughs> it's not actually. What, what, what is this? What is, is the just, sauce? It is just the Wendy's hamburger with a special oh, sauce on gotcha. it. Gotcha. Okay. As long as it didn't have seafood. No. 
Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not <laughs> a I'd be like, thing. who are you? I don't even know you. But it is, it is fascinating. The last time we actually did any kind of food, food, we went to Rick's Boatyard and I got short rib. Short rib. $3. They serve it over mm-hmm. top of risotto. Mm-hmm. And oh, gosh. yeah, that was good. We uh, we risked life and limb to get there because we it, had that huge windstorm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was my birthday. It was her birthday. Mm-hmm. We had a huge windstorm and. Rick's has some very nice outdoor seating, which was hanging on for deer <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah. I th- I'm pretty sure every deer blind went down that day. Every tree yeah. went down that day. It was a rough day. Yeah. Here. You had to dodge the limbs on the way there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yes. We don't get that many nights out, so dodging limbs. You got to yeah. go. Yeah. We got to do yeah. Got to make it count. Pretty much. <laughs> yes. Yep. Carly, you got any got any food for us? I mean, I made chicken enchiladas oh, the other day. My wife nice. just made that too, and it was so fast. And I'm like, why don't I make this more often? It's because definitely a staple in our house. Yeah, yeah. My wife's got this killer recipe, and mm-hmm. oh, just, it's always a winner. Yep, mm-hmm. yeah. yep. Just whip that together. Really, but our kids are super picky, mm-hmm. and so Scott and I enjoyed I it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we made the oldest boy try it, and he was like, "No, eh, not for me." Because he will He's try not... something considerate, and then okay, okay. At least he me. tries this it. Is not yeah. for me. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yep. Give yeah. him credit. I like like the the thought process going into it. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it sounds very mature. He is by far our most stubborn. So <laughs> okay, everything's a fight except try this new food. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Not for me. Right on. Yes, for me. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good yeah. for him. My kids are just like, mm. nope. nope. Yeah, yeah. They won't mm-hmm. even won't even smell it. But oh yeah. Yeah. So so my food of the week, I went to the Smoking Goose. Uh, well, Goose the Market. I went to their sandwich place and mm-hmm. got a. Oh gosh, it was called the lock. The sandwich was called the lock, and it was basically a, a Reuben, mm-hmm. but it was not on rye bread. It was on just kind of I don't know the name of the bread, um, like a standard white loaf. But that bread was just like crisp on the outside and just melted in the middle when you took a bite. The pastrami was beef tongue, okay, and the sauerkraut was like the most mild sauerkraut I've ever tried, and it was just perfection. Nice. nice. The whole thing was just like, oh, the, the Swiss. Uh, yeah, the Swiss was super mild. Food, oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it, like, I'll, I'll go back 100% I'll like, go back. before they get rid of it. <laughs> I think it's on their rotating menu, so mm-hmm. it's, it's not going to be there for long. Yeah. So, yeah. Goose the market. Go. Hit it up. Uh, the lock <laughs> sandwich was beautiful. Okay. No. I think it's like a, it's a phenomenal, like, intro to Rubens mm-hmm. because it was so mild and so, like, palatable. Like, mm-hmm. most Rubens are pretty harsh, I feel like. So, yeah, it was solid. Yeah. I loved it. Man. Good. On the eighth day, God had a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Reuben. I, it was a Reuben. Are my favorite. They're always my favorite. I don't care what kind of sandwich it is. <laughs> sandwich is the way to go. So, so easy. Wait, we've we've done a Sando episode, uh, or have we just talked about. Yeah, I think sandwich. we just talked about it. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But now, why are we here? Yeah. The pizza. Let's mm-hmm. let's talk about what's in front of us real quick. Um, Scott, do you want to like explain like the, the full pizza? Like nobody's taking a bite of this one. So Not yet. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I was waiting Grab for Scott to talk about it. Uh, buffalo chicken pizza. Pretty much standard fare. It's a uh, uh, um, medium buffalo sauce. Thing. BW, uh, yeah, BW3 is buffalo sauce. We got mozzarella cheese, uh, pulled chicken. I love throwing the crispy onion straws on there. Mm-hmm. And then just a little drizzle of ranch once it comes out. Way we go. Pretty simple. I feel like pizza is pretty good, well, especially your pizza, the way it cooks, like about getting those textures and that crisp. Mm-hmm. But um, we talked a lot about textures lately, and I've got a cookbook that I'm still trying to start reading. Um, Josh Wiseman, it's, I, I believe the book is called Texture Over Taste. And he's mm. huge, like he just breaks down all the textures, and it's like texture, like definitely makes or breaks dishes. It to does. Me. So I think, yeah, adding those crispy onions just. Sounds like perfection. Sure. Well, I think we need to test this. Let's test it out. Yeah. You can go right ahead. So, I'll, I'll I'll I'm not afraid of eating on this podcast. It would not be the first time, nor the last, even though it's against the it better rules. better not be the last. So usually when it comes to stuff like this, I imagine myself going to get wings and get yes. fresh fries and get mac and cheese. And I just try to put Solid. all that in a sandwich on a pizza or whatever it might be. Mm. That's, That's solid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, pull away from the mic, otherwise you yell that. Yeah, we, <laughs> we shouldn't have all taken a bite at the same time. All of us. I got us. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Scott Show. The Scott Show. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Golf, basketball. We can talk about pizza if you want. No. Sandwiches. We just talked a little bit about sandwiches. <laughs> love sandwiches. No, dude, the, the onions are the way to go. Yeah, that's definitely. I love a, that. A solid. Like, what's a nice airy crisp? 
mm-hmm. yeah, the like you almost just taste it like in the back, on the back end of your of the bite. Yeah, I like That's how solid. the cheese gets a little crispy too. Hundred mm-hmm. percent, yeah. That's a good dough. Yes, I make all these on a ninja ninja. If you're, if you're watching ninja ninja, if you want to send fan, Scott a few, we're all ninja a few back things. here, ninja everything. <laughs> That's not sponsored by you yet. <laughs> Thank. No, but yeah, we, we do use the, the Ninja wood fire pizza oven to do all this stuff. And um, I, so uh, something you should know about me, I'm an engineer. Mm-hmm. Practical wins, simple wins. It's complicated. Sure. I'm not going to do it. If it takes more than 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I don't have time for it. So so that's uh, where the pizza came in. That's where all this stuff came well, from. Well, 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 but it's... It's, mm. it's not an easy process for you. And we'll, we'll get to that here in a second. It's not too bad. The, the actual cooking, though, yeah. is easy. Nice and quick and easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the ninja. Well, everything. Yeah. Really, everything is. Um, yeah. Uh, just a, a little, little background. My friend, Abe, about two years ago, had us over. And he has got a really high-end, really, really nice pizza oven. And he we banged through some pizzas really quickly. Just kind of like we were, we were doing earlier. Mm-hmm. And... Nice. Wow, this is really good. Um, but they've got a really nice market just down the road. So he, on his way home, he would just stop in. He'd grab pre-made dough, as you know, it's mm. made in store by hand. This is really nice stuff. So we just flatten it, throw stuff on it. Like, boy, that's really, that's really cool. So uh, this past Christmas came around. We uh, got our hands on one of the Ninja Wood Fired Ovens because his is so nice. This I plug <laughs> in, push button, done. Mm-hmm. And it's very accessible. It is goes. super accessible. So that's uh, <laughs> that's how we got started doing all this stuff. So, nice. yeah, and we failed a lot mm-hmm. at the start. So well, we I think that's actually that. one of the things I wanted to talk about with this. Yeah. When it comes, especially with dough, you kind of alluded to this, and we like so. Uh, spoiler alert: We've made some other pizzas out here too. So <laughs> we've been here a while, and uh, we've been trying not to talk about pizza while it's making been so pizza. Hard. Yeah. It's been very hard. <laughs> um, but no, Carl, you, you mentioned like the going through the the dough process of learning that, and that. I, um, I, I have a friend who also gets into making pizza and it, he has talked about this. So this is why, especially being on the okayest here, like failure is part of this process. Mm-hmm. So like if you're thinking that you're going to just like all of a sudden your very first time, if you find some good recipes, you might nail it, but talk a little bit about the dough process and like how hard that was to nail. And it seems like maybe Carly has been the judge and jury of, <laughs> I'm your, the judge. of your dough sure. experience. Yeah. If, if we were looking for, for something, um, I started, a, a, we started just by going to the store, getting some of the King Arthur mm-hmm. double zero pizza and uh, pizza bread flour or pizza flour. And mm-hmm. on the back, there was a recipe and that's what we tried. <laughs> and it wasn't okay. bad. It, was, it wasn't bad at all, mm-hmm. but I wanted something that would rise a little more. I'm a mm. huge fan of air bubbles. Yeah. And I, yeah. I want, yeah. I'm, I'm not some size to the pizza. Yeah, I'm not looking for the planes. Yeah, I mean, it was very some mountains, right? It, <laughs> it was very flat at yeah. first, and I'm just like, mm, this is not it. I want the chewy, the crispy, like the texture yeah. mm-hmm. that we talked about. And so I was like, try again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't care what you do, you figure it out. Just so not, just not this. <laughs> yeah, this is just wrong. Yeah, and so like we do so many other things these days, uh, it popped up on Instagram. There was mm-hmm. uh, a guy on Instagram said. Uh, all he does is make pizza, cuts a giant triangle, takes a bite out of it. Next video. Uh, and nice. one of those videos, he shared his recipe and uh, let's try that one. And we did. And it fit my criteria, right? Okay. It, it takes 10 minutes of prep the night before. Nice. Throw a little flour, throw a little water, mix it up, throw it in a bowl, set it off to the side, cover it, set it off to the side. And yeah. It literally only takes 10 minutes to mix together. 24 hour process. Yeah, because like, yeah. 10 minutes to mix, set it on the counter, then I come back the next, you know, the next day, Friday. Yeah. And mm-hmm. yeah, just quarter it and yeah, do what you saw. We just start rolling it out and throwing stuff on it and throwing it in. So yeah, that's, it and wasn't, that's, that's this recipe. That's this that? recipe okay. right there. Yeah. What, what, what are the main differences between it the It was the king? really interesting. So it, it actually, it goes, uh, two cups of the, the actual double zero pizza you know, flour, and then uh, it's uh, it's it's yeast and it's salt, and you mix the whole thing together dry, and then you add your water, mm-hmm. and then it's two and a half cups of actual bread flour. Mm. Okay, so it's kind of a mix of different flours. And that's, the the good mm, recipe is yeah. yeah this one okay okay 
Yeah. So yeah, two and a half cups of, of bread flour. So King was just the pizza flour. And the one you yeah. prefer is like a mix of bread and pizza flour. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, I'd never seen before, but um, <laughs> like we tried it. I mean, I said, but mm -hmm. it's a nice thing about seeing some of those type of videos is, yeah, the guy can say, this is a really good recipe, but now I, I see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, well, that looks like what I imagined mm -hmm. it should look like. Right. So, yeah. We awesome. tried it and yeah. It's, like, it's I need to look for sense. pizza flour, I guess then, because I'm just making bread. Yeah. When I make my pizza, <laughs> um, it's literally like, like, and I don't I do wished. mine overnight. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so like, I, at least like, I'll let it rise for a couple hours, you know, punch it, fold it down, mm -hmm. flop it around, I guess I would need it. That's what I'm looking yeah. for. <laughs> need it and then let it rise again. So I guess it's at least a full day yeah. process, but it's not overnight. So I need to do some of that yeah. overnight stuff with proper flour. Cause that's good. <laughs> Like I said, it, it's, it does crisp up real nice on the mm -hmm. bottom. Like it does give those air bubbles. Mm -hmm. um, but yet inside it's still like springy and chewy yeah. and all the good ways. And yeah. yeah we've nice. been really happy with it. Got my stamp of approval. So now that you have this approved, is, yeah. this, is this a thing that you're going to play with? Like do you play with other bread flours with it? Like knowing that the bread flour is kind of the key, is there, are there other flours you might play with? No, no. So it, it's interesting because, yeah, like anything, when you have a little success, it creates a domino effect, mm -hmm. right? It does. Uh, <laughs> and actually, my domino effect didn't go with experimental, you know, different, different ways of doing the pizza dough. It basically went into dough land, right? <laughs> now I'm doing uh, pretzel sticks and oh, okay. bread. And uh, are you a sourdough guy? I have not done any sourdough because again, okay. uh, it has to be Time super simple. Yeah, it has to be super <laughs> simple. <laughs> Get sourdough back to is engineering nuts. criteria. We do have four kids, right? right? So if we made a nice sourdough, we would, I would, I would eat most of the sourdough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that would be it. Mm -hmm. But so when it comes to the kids, it's like, all right, I got to find something that looks and feels like the junk you would get in a store <laughs> right but is missing the preservatives missing you yeah know, all that junk stuff. yeah mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> missing all the stuff you don't want them to have so mm -hmm. yeah the same same kind of thing just went search around out there and eventually awesome. stumbled on one that gives you that texture gives you the right shape and all that other stuff but yeah i mean the, the ingredients are super simple i'll have to give you mm -hmm. if or go listen to our, our bread episode the, the beer bread that i make yeah like, it's yeah. like oh, yeah. like so these guys went on like a rampage like really high end and one of our I mean, colton colton and Corey yeah. went on a Corey rampage and yeah chris and i did not <laughs> my, uh, bre my bread <clears throat> recipe is about the same as my pizza recipe yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> it's about this, very simple uh but the uh they like they like especially colton him and uh sierra go crazy with like they make fun designs in their sourdough it's very it's a thing mm -hmm. but uh my the one the bread that i brought is like it's like flour baking powder a can of beer lots of butter like it's awesome it's yeah. it's five ingredients yeah. it's the easiest thing in the world we don't you don't and really you let can, it rise do nope you? just literally put just it like mix it all together put it in the pan put it in the oven and it, it's delicious but it works and, and it's, it's so, still airy it's yeah. airy it's awesome. really good so i'll get you that cap you had your butter it. yeah so <laughs> there's so much butter <laughs> which by the way it's funny you mentioned that because the bread recipe that we landed on was the only one that incorporated butter mm -hmm. and i tried three or four different kinds but yeah, that's nice. that is secret ingredient. Yep. Yes. I, I don't know if it's a secret. It's literally good on everything. <laughs> well, it's the best well, ingredient. Well, let's get back to pizza here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. You're I'm just watching you mix or like stretch out your dough. Like it mm -hmm. went just real smooth. Mm -hmm. Is that, do you think that comes from just time in the fridge or do you think that like, is that just a product of the proper flour? Because uh, my dough is just, it's, it's really hard and like I don't refrigerate mine, but it's still like, it doesn't really want to stretch. So I don't know if I'm like, yeah, not giving it enough time I or think and everybody out there who is uh, knows about cooking, uh, go ahead and correct me. Um, <laughs> I, I could just be a little, a uh, little low on the flour, right? It, mm. it might just be a little low on the flour because yeah, today the dough did not, I've had times where I'm trying to stretch it and it just bounces right back. Bounces right back. Okay. Um, and today, I mean, was, this was perfection. Today tonight, was not so. one of those times. It was, yeah. Yeah. it rolled out super easy. And I think I, so when I say the, the two and a half cups of bread flour, the actual recipe says two and a half ish. You'll have to determine based mm. on texture. And like, I don't, it's the first time I made this. I don't know what's, <laughs> I don't know what's proper. Bad. The engineer in him is like, no, it needs to be preserved. Yeah. You tell That's me exactly, exactly right. <laughs> like, oh, you said two and a half. I'm putting two and a half. Well, most, <laughs> most baking is like, oh, it's you like need a, to yeah. be precise. Oh, yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah. It's a chemistry. If, if there's anything I've learned and, especially in our time together it's yeah it's 
Cooking, oh, I'm gonna add a dash of this. Awesome, <laughs> fine, cool. Baking, I'm, I'm gonna add a... Ruined it. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no, oh, we yeah. had a, a fantastic episode uh, where we made, we were making a banana bread and we got carried away. And chocolate chips were involved oh, yeah. and uh, powdered sugar was involved. And when it was all said and done, we both kind of looked at it and said, you know what? This feels like a work bread. <laughs> so I, t- I took it into work. Take this into work. Oh yeah, I We're took it into work and I set it, it in the, the. Those engineers will eat anything. Oh yeah, yeah. You put it in there. I, I set it up with a knife, and it was funny. In the couple minutes that I got the whole thing set up, someone walked in and was like, "Oh, banana bread," and then someone else walked in like, "Oh, is that like a fruit cake?" <laughs> <laughs> and I had one guy walk up to me and said, "Man, it's pretty good." Because I, I normally don't like raisins. I'm like, "Those are chocolate chips." <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's chewing. He's not in. Yep, yep, that do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Lord. Oh. Sorry. The early days, but yeah, that's, early days. that's one of those things. Yeah, when you, yeah, when you first start out and you, you're trying different things, it's you don't. You just gotta go. You don't yeah. know. Yeah. Now we know baking. Don't mess with yes, me. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Well, um, do you so back um mm-hmm. the process here? So you, we we've made everything. We've mixed it up. You let it just rest overnight. Yep. 100%. And then you, um, is that in the fridge or on the counter you say? Uh, no, normally, uh, I, I cover it and I, I put it in the oven. Okay. It doesn't, you know, not, oven's not on, the light's not on. It just, just is a insulation. Place. Yeah. Safe yep. place. Yep. Kids, cats, bugs, yeah. nothing's in there. Right. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can stay here. You can, yep. Yeah. Yep. And you, have you quartered it already? No. Nope. Or is it, it's all whole? Nope. It's all whole. And I, I did take a picture before I started quartering it uh, for you guys if you wanted to Perfect. see what yeah. it looked like. Process, yes. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, and then uh, about an hour before we get cooking, I throw a little flour on a, um, you know, on the, the counter there and I, I pull it out and fold it a couple times and quarter it. And uh, it, the, you know, the process I do, I'm, I'm constantly adding flour, even if it's just to reduce friction so I can slide mm. the, so flowers keep, keeps getting integrated into it, which is why I don't mind it mm-hmm. not being mm-hmm. quite so stretchy or, you know, some of these other things that's, I'm taking on a lot of flour as the process goes along. Yeah. Yeah. It's just to keep it from sticking to my hands. I'm adding flour. So yeah. It's, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, nice. so what's, what's next steps after that? So we've got our dough. We've we got, got it all dough. stretched out. It's Quartered, perfect. Then we, we usually do, um, toppings well you prep. do the sauce you want to talk about the marinara sauce yes yeah. uh you guys haven't tried which we marinara. haven't tried yeah. oh my oh. goodness the kiddos Can had all the cheese pizza the pepperoni pizza i had one did you I, I snuck a slice of the supreme oh uh, okay solid yeah the, the sauce yeah all right so we'll have to do a red sauce um, before the night's over um so the sauce is literally just peeled italian plum tomatoes san marzano mm. yep san marzano we'll get that and I just crush them. Mm-hmm. Nice. And I add the tiniest pinch of garlic, the tiniest pinch of salt, and it's done. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. I don't cook it. I don't. I just mash it up, and it's done. Just yeah. trying nice. to keep it as simple as simple could be. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, outside of like anybody who has like a, a <clears throat> outside of the gluten conversation um, of what's in flour, like everything we've seen tonight, especially when we get into the toppings and all that, are there like you know we watched you know Scotty and his mom uh, <laughs> just cutting up and, and like the coolest thing about this is, is it gives especially we're talking a little bit about kids um mm-hmm. gives them the 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 things you don't necessarily the things they love and pizza mm-hmm. and all that without all the like junk of all the other toppings yeah. and everything so yeah. it's it's yeah. really you have it's a really cool dish to be able to con- fully control that process side of this too and you know you keep it as clean as you really want to mm-hmm. especially with i mean some of the other stuff that's over here on this side we have some pretty unique uh <laughs> ingredients today. yeah we went a little crazy <laughs> with the ingredients um, um yeah, I, I love that simple recipe. Yeah. I mean, that, that sauce recipe is perfect. Yeah. And it's awesome. Yep. I feel like like pizza lives and dies by the crust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then a close second to that is the sauce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then but your if, toppings are just, they're just toppings, right? And, I, and I, I'm excited to try the red sauce. But I mean, also, the, we've had a lot of white sauces tonight with the garlic aioli. Which was shocking man, for so me. so good. Yeah. Because yeah. like I, I mentioned earlier, like, I, don't, I don't do a whole lot of white sauce myself. Just because right. I think red is awesome. Like tomatoes mm-hmm. are perfect. Why, why, why not use them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was shocked how well I liked the white sauce. Yeah. Especially with some of these funky ones that we made. Um, so, so they, um, yeah, Scott and Carly graciously like said, Hey, we're going to make this, 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 and this, and then you've got a crust that you can do whatever you want with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I brought some weird stuff. <laughs> Andy's going to have to remind me Indulia. how to pronounce. Indulia. Indulia. Yeah. So I went to smoking goose and I got this 
hockey puck looking sausage thing. <laughs> it's a red hockey puck and it's Induya sausage. Yes. It's a lot of pork, pork belly, um, some other spices and peppers. Mm-hmm. And it just like, I mean, you, you put it yeah. together, Carly, it kind of like crumbles and yeah, it was kind of, um, soft and i think it like you said like it a, did kind of just melt but mm-hmm. crisp up not really quite nice, as yeah. runny as I, like a brie I, cheese I, yeah. but Got a believe it like they said it's used as like a spread it mm-hmm. can be put, used as a spread but what i could see carly sure. made these little strips out of it and then it turned out to be like i mean it's gorgeous on the pizza it just looks yes. amazing well it kind of like up nice and they told me this at at mm-hmm. uh, goose the market like it would kind of like melt down and like all that fat just kind of like oh. spread and crisped yeah. up perfectly in the in the ninja and mm-hmm. it like I think you just you recommended the garlic. I think with that mm. that yeah, sausage, and so we good. did arugula, some shallots, Bones, mushrooms. Mm-hmm. I think there's no, mushrooms. No, no, no mushrooms. mushrooms. Did we do? Did yeah, we? yeah, no, we did. I, did. We, did we got mushrooms on that one. I totally missed the mushrooms. I don't know if I ta- didn't well, even taste them. The, the sausage was just so good that yeah. I didn't distracted. care about mushrooms. But, yeah. but it worked so good. Just that white sauce, the yeah, the sausage. I think red sauce would have been. A bad decision. Mm-hmm. I think you would have a lot. I think it would have been like it would have been a spicier, like normal sausage pizza if you would have done it with that, which would have still been good. But the it would have been this good. Was mm-hmm. the that was the way to go? Mm-hmm. Yeah, garlic aioli. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then on the other half of that, the other half of the <laughs> okayest pizza <laughs> was kind of a failure. Well, it's um, okay. Yeah, it was okay. It was it's it learning was lesson. Yeah. It was good, it's but it could have been lesson. better. I did. I I brought a deer tongue, mm-hmm. and I used Maddie's. Maddie Madison's mm-hmm. deer tongue, or it's a beef tongue recipe, but it involves a tomato paste and basically just stew. So red wine, carrots, onions, mm-hmm. like the whole nine yards. Um, just braised that for an hour and then peeled it and brought it in and threw it on a pizza. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where we went wrong. <laughs> um, we, well, so that we did, part was good. It, it was the garlic <laughs> aioli base again, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then well, you a cheese base. So what, mozzarella yeah, on Jeff, the bottom. Just a standard mozzarella. Yeah, so mm-hmm. mozzarella, tongue, some ricotta, so I think cherry fine. tomatoes. It's also fine. Arugula. Also like, fine. Arugula was added after yeah. we pulled it from the oven. Mm-hmm. All of that would have been just perfect. But where we ruined it. Where we went wrong, <laughs> I think, was the addition of olives. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know what it's, it's also a, from the, Smoking Goose, yeah. but they're, it's like the a olives fancier. Were delicious. Oh, they're beautiful olives. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Red and green olives. But they were just a little too powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the, the tongue is just such a delicate protein that it just almost vanished. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it, just it was like a vessel at this point. It was an all of ricotta pizza yeah. in the end, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which tasted good, but like the hero product is just gone. Yeah, mm-hmm. so. it didn't shine. Yeah, that's one of those things that we've kind of figured out doing this process. The, the pizza we made before this was um, again it had that garlic base. It had spinach, it had a little crumbled bacon, and it had some sliced cherry tomatoes, and that was it. What was it, it was called? Perfect. We were calling that what the Christmas garlic? Garlic Christmas. Garlic Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's my Lex Dixia. Uh, yeah, garlic. I, th- I think garlic I took a picture Christmas. of that one. We'll, we'll, we'll pop it yeah, up here on the there. screen somewhere. But, but had I added, I mean, we've got a, a lot of different topping options, and had I kept going, yeah. It, Mm-hmm. It's easier to take wrong Gotta turns the further you yourself. go, basically. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we did one, but it's okay. Yeah. Like you got to yeah. you got to do it to know. Yes. yes. And now we know. <laughs> and now we know. We. I mean, that's that's how this whole process has been. Cheese was a big thing, actually. Yes. Is it? Oh no! One of the we oh, forgot yeah. one of the fancy cheeses. Which one was it? What's on the ricotta? No, no, the, the, br- the burrata. 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 burrata was on the side with. Uh, Indusia. In, 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 yeah. in, oh, yeah. Indusia. Which also explains why it was like meltedly awesome. Yeah. To, it had yeah. The, what is it? A burrata cheese? Burrata mm-hmm. cheese. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was like a was stuffed good. fresh it, mozzarella. Mm-hmm. Oddly enough, it's a fresh mozzarella stuffed with more mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if, you, if you listening or watching have not tried this cheese, you need to buy it. some. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. excellent. Oh, my gosh. It's an experience. I mean, it came in a tub like full mm-hmm. of. Looked like just mozzarella balls. Liquid. but. We Carly yeah. cut into it, and I was like, "Oh, there's a there's an inter- yeah. this is yeah. a surprise. I had yeah. a surprise. surprise. More <laughs> mozzarella. Yes. <laughs> but like the way that it like transformed in that pizza oven, it was just like kind of creamy, but like mm. still like thick. And yeah. oh my gosh, it was it's an awesome pizza ingredient. Yeah, yeah. I will 100 percent be buying some of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. next time I do this. Yeah, I'd, I had never really experimented with before, but uh, again, a, a friend of ours that was here one night for a Friday pizza get together said. Hey, a burrata would be pretty good. Yes. 
So, Ryan, thank you for that. I'd much appreciated. <laughs> Good job, Ryan. Good job, so, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Too bad you weren't here to experience No, no. That, Ryan's, so Ryan's family came over, and his daughter is extremely pizza picky. Man, it's mm. got to be good. Otherwise, I ain't eating it, right? Oh, geez. And wow, she liked more it. for me. She liked <laughs> it immediately. And now that family owns their very own Ninja Wood Fired Pizza. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, can I get your dough recipe? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Here's the dough. Here's the sauce. You slice cheese, not shredded. Away yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Scott should be in sales. Yeah. Well, talk talk about that real quick. That comment <laughs> yes. you just made, sliced versus. I saw you shredded. doing this, and this is another thing I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah. But I was like, okay. oh wait. Um, okay. So yeah. So so yeah. Talk about the. For those of you know, like everyone who's ever seen a pizza made, there's always shredded cheese being drizzled always. across. Mm-hmm. But then I watched this man tear little pieces of cheese apart, <laughs> and, and, and I was like, "There's a there's a reason for this." So please, like a tell little us. cheese yeah. blanket. He yes. did made a cheese blanket. I am not OCD. I was um, so. <laughs> what we learned through the process is the shredded cheese that you get in the store is usually coated with some sort of starch, like a potato starch, so it doesn't stick yeah. to itself, and that right. interferes with the melting. It interfere. I mean, it's in there for three minutes. You don't have time. Right. I can't. I can't leave it in there an extra thirty seconds to, to let that cheese finish melting because mm. everything else is going to be torched. Right. Um. So low moisture mozzarella in slice form doesn't have that. Right. It's, it's fresh slice right there, and it makes coverage easier. Yeah. Right. Flips. I could certainly do it easier than I do. I can just throw a bunch of slices on there instead <laughs> right. of tearing them apart like I did. But. Um, yeah, that, that was one of those things that, that took some learning. And then we've tried some blends before, mm-hmm. um, cause mm-hmm. just about any mm-hmm. pizza place that I know of, oh, we do, a uh, like a provolone mozzarella blend mm-hmm. or a special mm-hmm. blend or Wisconsin cheese blend. Uh, little Caesar, I think does, um, like a provolone and Munster blend. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> little so, so what's Scott's Again, blend? Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So we tried a bunch of different blends and essentially Carly hated all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so the we judge, went, again, the judge rules. We went back and said, all right, well, if it's not differences in cheese blends, then is there differences in cheese brands? And some melted a little more thoroughly and just didn't mm. have that pull. And then we found a just plain old off the shelf Sargento low moisture mozzarella okay. had the texture to go along with it mm-hmm. too, yeah. where it had back to had texture. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the texture. Awesome. Absolutely. My, my son would, with a mouthful of pizza, would have me come over. He wanted me to take a picture because he would <laughs> take a bite and he's standing up off the table to see how far pull. he can yes. get it to pull. Right. <laughs> Look, I think I got a record here, Dad. <laughs> so, <awesome>. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. So we, we, we landed on that and, and kind nice. of stuck with it ever yeah. since. It's yeah. awesome. That's well, I, I definitely love like the gloops of cheese. So like that, I, the yeah, burrata I'm was a awesome. The ricotta, like I love just huge plops of ricotta yeah, no, on We're going to have so. to do a cheese, super cheese one. Yes, a I would bit be all but, what, that. but what Scott does is like he did the base. Mm. So like it's it's crust, it's dough, a layer of the sauce, mm-hmm. and then a layer of cheese. Mm-hmm. And then you put some toppings and then you put more cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can do this a lot of different ways. Uh, um, one way that that I've always kind of enjoyed here and there is when you do your dough and then go straight to cheese okay. and then you go through and put dollops of sauce all over the place. And that's interesting because you get, you'll get one bite that maybe as little, maybe a bite that doesn't have I any. I don't think I would like that as well, much. It's, it's interesting because it, it sauce can disappear sometimes. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, we talked sure. a lot about the sausage. Oh, we got the rugel on there. Yeah. And the, the sauce can kind of fade in the background. So it's kind of interesting you know, take a bite and you'll get, certain elements and then you hit one with the sauce and like, Oh, there you are, dear friend. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, so it's one of those things where yeah, you deprive yourself a little bit and I when it, you yeah. do hit it, you're like, Oh man, that sauce. Oh, well, cause so sauce good. could be so sweet. So sometimes mm-hmm. you get that mm-hmm. sweet with the savory. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. A lot, yeah. Of, ways, a lot of ways you can do this. Yeah. I just don't know if I want those, like those dry in between bites with no yeah. sauce. But. Well, I was I would say like, like what I liked about the aioli version, and this might be just because you did a, you you do a, a good job of spreading that all the way through, and then the cheese on top of it. It it just like you said, it got sometimes it can get lost, but I think it's just it's such like a 
like it's almost like rhythm guitar or the, like it, you hear it mm-hmm. it's part of the song yeah but it's what's carrying the rest of it through mm-hmm. to those those higher notes and i think that that's one of the things that i especially about white sauces that i feel like mm-hmm. i don't i would want the globs but i hear you with the with especially when it comes to marinara mm-hmm. um and even a chunkier version that we ever now get a good that's why i think marinara then adding tomatoes to it is yeah. how you get that little pop mm-hmm. of all awesome. i say yeah. your sauce recipe like you mm-hmm. do get those chunky bits because yeah. that's oh, yeah. you, cr- you crush your chunks stuff. of tomatoes yeah. hanging yeah. out here and there. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it's perfect. it's really really good. Actually, we had um, we had a birthday party here for my niece Iris, mm-hmm. and Iris is uh, so it'd be my brother's uh, daughter, his wife, and uh, his mother in law were here for the party, and they grew up a very Italian family. Um, his uh, so my brother's mother in law came to me afterwards. She goes, "This is probably the best pizza I've had in fifty years." Whew. I'm thinking. I just, I'm making stuff up here, lady. <laughs> uh, might have overshot the compliment a little mm-hmm. bit. Uh, but she was saying that she, her, her family actually had the first takeout pizza restaurant in the city of Indianapolis. It was her uncle no that owned the place. Hmm. And he used, again, making fresh dough. Sauces were simple, not overdoing it with spices, not overdoing it, but just you know, all the really kind of simple stuff. And she really hasn't had a pizza in years that mm, just, simplified. just had the, the simple stuff. Yeah. Mm. That's awesome. So one of the questions on the thing to actually use my notes for once, yes. what, <laughs> what kind, what style of pizza is this? Like now, you know, hearing that from somebody who oh, has Neapolitan, I think is, is that I, essentially I'm a, looking at you. Yeah. Essentially that's, <laughs> a, that's also an ice cream. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Essentially that's, that's basically kind of what it is. It's, uh, the the pizza oven outside actually your temperature settings are based simply on the type of pizza. You go, okay. It literally says New York pizza, um, deep dish pizza, Neapolitan. <laughs> okay. Uh, crank it to Neapolitan. It changes your <laughs> time and temperature. So you can crank out some Chicago pizzas in yeah. this thing. I don't know if I could do Chicago uh-huh. pizzas. Detroit deep dish. I'll do Detroit. Right. Yeah. All day long. Chicago best pizza in Chicago is not a Chicago pizza. Ooh. Oh, believe yeah. it or not and if you guys ever gone to chicago have never gone here you should do a road trip film yeah. it as you go <laughs> there is a place in chicago called the pizza oven and grinder company okay it is the best pizza in chicago it's not even close all you chicago people tell <laughs> us they know. what oh. you think i'm sure they tell know. us of scotty's row <laughs> and i did i did see the i digress momentarily but i did see someone arguing that chicago pizza isn't actually deep dish it's actually flat cut into ro- into uh, rectangles. Mm, okay. Which like, m- like school pizza? No, yeah. no, like uh, a pizza? round pizza that's cut into. <laughs> oh. Oh. Like not well, like that's triangles. That's exactly how like Donatos. Pizza. You're from you know Northwest Indiana. Yeah. Almost all the pizzas you. you oh, they're I've all had. again. We don't cut Party triangles cut. in yeah. Northwest Indiana. So the hmm. Chicago Pizza Oven Grinder Company it was a totally unique experience from beginning to end. This this man walks outside. And just looks at you, and you tell him your name, and, yeah. or you tell him how many. <laughs> you that's just right, don't, you don't tell him your name. You don't tell him your name. Just tell him how many people there, and you go okay. back inside. This place is so popular that you will have fifty people waiting in a line around the block, and he remembers everybody oh, by when they arrived. <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> just remembers. So you go down a staircase. You're kind of under a building. Actually, it's the building that served as the lookout for the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. So it's over there oh, by geez. Lincoln Park. Um, and what they do is they have a special blend of this Wisconsin cheese. The place makes it for them, specifically mm. for their pizzas. They take, um, I don't know, what, what do you call those, those? Like a little casserole dish yeah, type of thing. The, the white bowls that you can mm-hmm. put in of it. They put the cheese in first. And from there, you have two options. You can get the sausage or you can get the vegetarian. And essentially, all of their toppings are mixed into the sauce. Okay. So they give you a nice big ladle full of one or the other. Pizza options are vegetarian or sausage, one pound or half pound. <laughs> <laughs> so cheese is in the bowl. They ladle Good in the sauce. Simplicity. And then they take the crust and they put it on top and they throw it in the oven. And while it's in the oven, the pizza dough rises and like a mushroom. Up. So when it comes out, it looks like a mushroom. Oh, geez. They bring it to your table. An expert flips it upside down, runs a knife along the edge, and pulls it free. And all the sauce and cheese just kind of fills this thing in. Oh, my gosh. It is a, it is like like a pizza. Experience. It's a, it's yes. a bread bowl, except it's oh, not super bready because the dough yeah. was rising. It it's, has a consistent 
thickness all the way through, which is, you know, no, no thicker, maybe even thinner than what's here. Really? And it all just kind of goos in the middle, just boiling lava hot. And, just, and the sauce is so good. It is perfect. It's it is so good. It but is it's really totally different pizza. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have to, yeah. yeah, pizza road trip. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Add it to the list. Absolutely amazing. But yes. yeah, I've never seen anything like it anywhere That's else. That's crazy. It's just there. It's really cool. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, right, we could be true. there in three hours. Say thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Catch it. We've got somewhere to be. We'll pick we'll up we'll my cameras pizza. later. That's right. <laughs> I'm sure the kids don't bother it. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, this this well. Speaking of kids, I mean, do they need to come? No. Nope. Grab another slice. They're good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, talk talk about kind of your your go to pies. Like you've got some standards. So one, yes. two, and three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we we start with the kids. Cheese is first. I've got one son, one daughter that prefers cheese more than anything else. Then the next one we roll up is just a straight up pepperoni because the little one that's his favorite. And then the last one that's got to be a little more complicated. That's that kid that tries anything if you ask him to. Mm. He likes <laughs> sausage and bacon and pepperoni. He's a three meat kind of guy. Yes. So we load them up with that, and then after that, we usually are left when it's when it's just us with one more pizza crust, and that's when we go diving into the refrigerator and pulling out leftovers and seeing what we can <laughs> figure out with what we have. Or if we have an inkling for something, like I was like, let's make a BLT pizza, mm-hmm. you know, or whatever. Like we'll just come up yeah. with something. Which that's a fantastic story too. So I make her <laughs> a B, and actually that's where the um, the garlic bacon and spinach and uh, cherry tomato the pizza. Christmas. I did her the garlic Christmas pizza. That's right. <laughs> I, I don't know if everyone's picked up on that yet. <laughs> I'll stop describing it from here on out. So that's that's where it really came from. Because I'm like, okay. BLT, okay, lettuce, tomato, bacon. I can't really do lettuce, but I can do spinach. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of good. So that's where it came from. Mm-hmm. And she goes, oh, that's well, pretty good. And then uh, like a week later or two weeks later, she said, boy, a BLT pizza would be pretty good. I said, okay. And I made it again. And she's like, yeah, this is good, but I really wanted a BLT piece. <laughs> like this I was saying the wrong thing. What she wanted was a Big Mac pizza. <laughs> Thousand Island dressing, uh, brown hamburger, onions, yeah. pickles, you yeah. know, the, yeah, like a cheddar blend of some sort. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, <laughs> that is that's a completely not different thing. thing. That is a yeah. completely different thing. But I kept saying. We can BLT. do that. Yeah. Yes. I meant Big Mac. So yeah, that's usually how it goes. It's three standards and then one just who knows them. whatever we can figure out. Unless there, yeah, there's very, something very specific like that we're after. The buffalo chicken. I was like, let's do that. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, yeah uh, I definitely mm-hmm. love the experimentation and mm-hmm. just our conversation earlier about your what, what's the new one you want to try? The butter butter, butter chicken. chicken. Butter chicken. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that I, one sounds awesome. But. I don't know enough about it because oh, all right, cool. I've got an awesome sauce. I've got a crust that would you know give me that kind of non feeling mm-hmm. but what else goes on it well, i don't know <laughs> i don't know butter, like, butter. Uh, do you yeah. put cheese? i don't remember ever getting anything cheesy at no. the indian restaurant so no. I, as much mm. as it might be good you could throw some goat cheese on there or hum- yeah well goat well, the, cheese would be good the goat cheese would, would be nice so. i'm not a fan of goat cheese but i could see someone doing that do i love mm-hmm. it yeah i don't want to try that but a little bit I more bet. earthy yeah, yeah. it, yeah. it could probably be a non cheese pizza Mm. I have a, a vegan friend who eats. It's kind of blasphemous. Eats, I don't hey, know. Can she I, uh, eats non-cheese pizza. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to raise my hand for all of you just listening. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was one of the best puns my wife has put out there. Oh, non-cheese pizza. <laughs> <laughs> get it. Get it. Well, well done. I won't leave you hanging. That was fantastic. <laughs> so good. Oh, Everybody see. playing at home. Oh, She's got gosh. one pun. Oh. I've got none. Oh. Andy's got none. Oh. Chris has got none. I'm <laughs> zip. Oh, man. We got more work to do. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, so it's a non a non cheese pizza. Non cheese pizza. Non cheese. Pizza. Unre- non cheese. That, that, that's a flatbread. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, is it, is it still pizza if there's no cheese? Yeah. Gosh. We should look, we should look at the dictionary. What I mean, what defines pizza? Yeah. There's so many options out there. Um, I'll be honest. I have had hmm. a vegan pizza before. Mm-hmm. Um, I've On got a buddy. purpose. <laughs> yes, it was. Well, not, it wasn't my decision. Mm-hmm. I had a friend who was vegan for a hot minute. Had a friend. <laughs> he's, he's still a great. He's still a great friend, but yeah. he he was only vegan We've for lost a couple months. <laughs> oh, okay. um, but he, he was he was big into rock me. climbing and mm-hmm. uh, McGill's Pizza. Have you been down there? No. Um, Red River Gorge area. Hmm. There's a pizza place called McGill's. I think. I think I'm saying that right. Um, awesome pizza. But we go down there, and he's like, "I'm vegan. So can I have a vegan pizza?" And, 
of course, like the rock climber community, like they're 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 built for yeah. that. So Absolutely, this, they, it's go. on the menu. We have seven actually. <laughs> I don't know what was on the pizza, but it was amazing. Hmm. It was a lot better. It was than probably I that cheese that Colton's obsessed with. Oh, that. Oh, that, what is vegan cheese? Vegan might something something that. that uh, all right, this is the great. yeast. It's like a the yeast. yeast he's talking about. <laughs> this is gonna help me out a lot. Vegemite, Vegemite, Vegemite. <laughs> it's not Vegemite. Vegemite's no. like a salt oh, uh, I don't know. paste. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll dig through the episode. <laughs> okay. The minute work it didn't really do a good job of explaining what Vegemite is. Just it <laughs> goes on sandwiches. Apparently, it is not tasty. So, <laughs> you guys are gonna have to let me know what cheese it is you found. I have a dear, dear friend that is on the rotation. He's on the list to come and do okay. a pizza night. Okay. And his wife had some health problems and part of that they said hey let's let's clean up our eating let's mm. let's do the whole thing so they actually went vegan i'm like okay. yeah we can come over and do a pizza night mm. he's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like well i'll figure this out it's possible we'll get it figured yeah. out it is possible it yes. is possible it can be done yeah let's uh we'll, we'll take a peek at that website mcgill's okay. and see if they're mcgill's see if the uh, ingredients, ingredients are on are the there. website yeah. give us yeah. some idea interesting yes. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of funny how this all works because sometimes like when we get to the the part where we're down the last crust, it might not turn into pizza. We have talked about <laughs> olive oil and turning it into just a giant round bruschetta. <sighs> yeah, because you know mm-hmm. the garden's going. Just nuts. your own custom yeah. breadsticks would yeah. be solid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I have no problem topping it like I would a pizza, then folding it in half, and out comes a calzone. calzone right? Yeah. Yes. Um, We've done that. We have been doing, the boys love doing this, where I'll actually pull out a rolling pin and make it as flat and wide as I can, and we layer it with cheese and pepperoni and roll it mm-hmm. and cut it like cinnamon rolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cook it that good. way. Oh, okay. Pizza cinnamon rolls. And then awesome. you can dip it in the sauce. Oh, yeah, then we dip it like crazy in the marinara. Yeah. So, awesome. yeah, once you're down to that last dough, man, the last dough. You <laughs> never know. <laughs> That's where... <laughs> Yeah, yes. that's where creativity all the crazy lives stuff. is in the last dough. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, but honestly, before we get too close on time here, you guys didn't see this because we were running our little intro mm-hmm. clip. But um, oh, the, yeah. the way Let's you cut about. this pizza mm-hmm. is a little <laughs> interesting. Yes. Explain so, yourself. So. <laughs> Explain, <laughs> Explain yourself. Right. Yeah. Talk so, through the process. The first Because he did it on every single one the same way. Yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Once I find something that works, I just do it. <laughs> um, so essentially, I have to use the pizza cutter, the old fashioned, you know, rolling style pizza cutter to make the first slice because I don't have a knife long enough. Mm. Mm. Uh, and then the the knife that I do have is long enough to cut from there on out. And I'm just trying to keep from dragging Mm -hmm. stuff all off of one slice into another slice. And especially when I've got some, uh, it's not uncommon to do this is half as cheese and this half as bacon and pepperoni. And yeah, you know, now I got, don't let them touch. I can't let them touch. (laughs) Yeah. A piece of bacon made its way. Well, the bacon gods have blessed you. Why are you (laughs) telling me about this? Just (laughs) just eat it. Yeah. And when it's super hot, the cheese is, super melty mm. oh yeah you know yeah. we have to wait so let it wait goop. a couple minutes it's gonna goop all over the place now, something else that i do which you guys saw but you don't always see is i'm a huge fan of seven slices mm. Mm. so i'll use once i cut it in half i'll go four slices on one side and then the other side i'll cut into just three really and why is that? i did not and notice this. you didn't notice that's what i did with the garlic christmas there you go. got it <laughs> third time. <laughs> I did it that way, and it, it has everything to do with the dough. And hmm. um, you know, the kids like the little smaller slices. Man, I want something just a little bit bigger that go. I hold in one hand with so a the tiny kids half and that Scott's little half, half fold in the yeah. middle. Not quite a taco, but take getting the there. Biggest mm-hmm. bite I possibly can. Yes. Right, so it's that the normally kids side and the adult side. That's exactly <laughs> pretty much exactly how it goes. So that's <laughs> that is why I end up cutting it the way I do. But mm. and uh, my mom has said uh, before, said, we get you one of those cool things. Like, yeah, rocker. Those are awesome. Where do you keep those? <laughs> yeah, I, I've got like a saw, a chainsaw in the garage. I'll just hang it in the wall out there. <laughs> this true. You got some wall space. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Hang wall space. Those things are. Yeah. They're big. huge. They're yeah. gigantic. They're super cool, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely cool. Yes. Send us one. <laughs> <laughs> if you make those. Yeah. So I, I so Cuisine, you mentioned right? you mentioned scissors earlier. I I do have a friend who cuts pizza with scissors. Have they ever explained that? I have seen people do it a lot, yeah. and I've never said anyone that said. I'm gonna have to ask her, but because. Uh, 
the only thing I've ever seen it is online and it's almost like one person did it once. Hey, this is possible. And someone saw that video. <laughs> and went, is this possible? And it's somewhere it <laughs> went from, is this possible to, is this a good idea? And then no one answered. So they just assumed, <laughs> yeah, this is a great idea. Let's just keep cutting away. Oh my God. Like, let's go get the ones with the lasers on. I want to make sure that I, I got a straight line going through this thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's a precision I, thing. I think or... my only theory on it, if to not speculate beyond Scotty's perfectly, it's probably exactly what actually <laughs> happened, uh, is that like, if you have like, and you guys have littles, um, it might make it so that you can cut more like precise size pieces. So like you could take mm. this and easily cut it in half with a piece, like a scissor. I think that's what she easy. does. Yeah, because I think yeah, once she picks it up, she just like four, mm -hmm. like four. I think that's why kids or four. I'll double Your check. Dog. I'll report or whatever back. you want to. Like, why you want to <laughs> cut a pizza with the scissors? Yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, yeah, it seems seems difficult, right? Yeah. You're gonna have to pick it up and it does seem like a, an extra process. Depending on you know what kind of pizza you have. So it, back to your engineering brain. Yeah, you don't like scissors to I cut like pizza. To cut pizza? No, yeah. no, it's, it's not my thing. <laughs> it's too complicated. <laughs> it's not my thing. So he's a he's a rolling pizza cutter for the first one. Yeah, Only I wish because the knife's not big. I just need a bigger knife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're right. Like I honestly, I thought the knife was odd for a second because you got this pizza slicer like why mm -hmm. and i but then I, like man. you mentioned that big old tool and like like yeah pe part of me i see that in we pizza shops all yeah. the time yeah, like the big like rocker guy yeah, yeah. So those I, are awesome that's just a big when knife. you see that guy doing i'm like man that looks so cool yeah so i have this massive knife at my house and you talked about this like i don't have a knife that's big <laughs> enough and i have this so i i i this was a christmas gift that i asked for like seven eight years ago maybe and I liked the knife, but I didn't read the size of the knife. And then I just assumed the price was the price because of, you know, it was yeah. a good knife. It's a, and I have the same <laughs> yeah. knife. It's that big, that, the big one, the big cleaver yeah. one that you've seen. I, it has a friend. From, from the from the gear episode? Yeah, or? but yeah, from episode one, go back and listen. Um, you'll see it down there if you watch it. But I have that same company makes one that's like, I'm not getting it. It's really it's a little katana. almost huge. three feet long. It's huge. You know what? But it, it, the problem is, is like it can literally only be stored in like the most like I'll never I never use it. I literally have only used it once. Yeah. And it's like a four hundred dollar. <laughs> it's, it's your pizza knife now. But it's my pizza yeah. knife. Yeah. Now it'll be your pizza knife. You want to know something that's funny is if you got me one of those big pizza knives, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's way too much. If my wife on Christmas morning took a <laughs> Fiskers like machete for your yard and <laughs> handed it to me. He's like, this is a pizza machete. Like, yes, it is. Yes, it <laughs> is. Definitely. And I will wear it in a holster on my belt yes. on pizza night. When it comes time for cut, I will just, we're going to have to he go said, holster. It, this knife has a holster. My knife has yes! a holster. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's exactly right. It does have a holster. Do you know why it's got a holster? There's only one reason a knife it's has a holster. Someone's got to carry that bitch. So or? your wife will walk yeah. in and she's looking for a little paring <laughs> knife, mm. and that's when you finally get that's to say, not a knife. "It's not a knife." It's <laughs> a knife. Yes. Oh my god. Ah, uh, now I really wish I would have known about this. I would have brought that knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see a picture. Yeah. It would have been it's huge. Yeah. It would have been strange because of uh, some of our kids are really observant. It's like, oh. Is that knife guy gonna come for pizza again? <laughs> like, we saw a knife once. And now you're the knife guy. The knife guy nickname. forever. That's okay. I, that's a good nickname. Also. Yeah, there's a lot worse <laughs> worse nicknames. There's a hundred percent. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Well, well. Last question here before we mm -hmm. wrap up. Um, what are your thoughts on using a fork to eat pizza? It is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's looks here for those of you who are, are not. I feel, I feel like well, I was wondering yeah. if Scott was going to say it first or if it's going to be me. I want to hear both your opinion. Pizza needs to go in the tummy. <laughs> 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 I think it's situational, like anything else. Are, are raincoats good, good or bad? On a sunny day, does it make any sense? No. On a rainy day, it does. So if I am hungry <laughs> and they bring me a pizza that is fresh out of the oven and it's crazy hot, Give me the fork. I got work to do. <laughs> and as soon as it's cool enough for me to handle it, then I will put the fork aside and yes. go about like it's a normal day. So I've got no quorums with it. Now, yeah. I know our, our good friends in Italy, I think they are fork pizza from the beginning to the end of the experience, yeah. which makes pizza feel like fine dining. I don't know. Bit. I use a fork. I, I will admit yeah. I'm a fork. And at least for the first half. And then yeah. when it's more manageable, because I don't want it to. Well, there's there's no shame, no shame, no shame okay. here at OKS okay Cook. Good. Like, 
put A1 yeah. on your steak. We don't care. Um, Use fork with the pizza. <laughs> well, most of some, us don't care. Some shame. Yeah. <laughs> well, there might be some ridicule, we'll, we'll, we'll but there's no line. shame. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I, I'm, I'm with you guys. I'm with you, Carly. Like yeah. the pizza I make, the crust specifically, like isn't is crispy. And so mm-hmm. it doesn't quite hold up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like when you pick it up, you fold it in half. Like mine just flops over. And I tend to over topping my pizza. Yeah. Um, That's another good problem. The same, the same scenario. problem with the dough earlier. You mentioned like I, my dough just doesn't want to stay spread out. Like it mm-hmm. always just sucks back up. Mm-hmm. And it's like we have some beautiful, thick, doughy crust, which my wife loves. And I, mm-hmm. I, I like it too a lot. Um, but it's just, it's a smaller pie. And again, I over topping it and it just, it can't hold like the structure's not there. Yeah. So, so yeah, I need a fork for the first half yep. um, for most of those slices. But yep. uh, So I, someone told me a trick when it comes to that spring back, right? So okay. uh, just, uh, just like a, a, a child, right? You have to ignore it. <laughs> okay. Right? You stretch it out. <laughs> you stretch it out the way you want it, and you know it's going to spring back, and you don't pay attention to it. You mm-hmm. walk off. You go do something else. Mm-hmm. I'm not paying attention to you. It's over there <laughs> saying, look at me. you like, no. No, I got other things to do. And what you'll find is when you go back over there, you're like, okay, I'm ready to be stretched now. And, you just, <laughs> and then it'll just stay. It's the darndest See, this, thing. That I was <laughs> the most elegant way of saying you stretch it. it, let it rest a minute, and then stretch it again. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's watching. It's, it's watching. If you, yeah. it is. If it knows you're you looking it. at it, right? <laughs> Another thing that we learn from kids, I, yeah, I had breath alive. Ones, like at a dead sprint, run into a wall. And that was the first time that I pretended I didn't see it. And he looked <laughs> yep. up at me, and when I wasn't looking, he's like, dusted himself off, yep. kept I've on going. This. Have I been looking? He would have started crying. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza crust is the same one. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this, so oh. this also kind of goes back to my <laughs> biggest problem in the kitchen is planning ahead. And usually when I'm making my crust, trying to force it to get to the size I want, like it's because we want to eat 10 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm. I need to plan ahead. I need to make my dough the night before. Yep. Mm-hmm. And ignore it, I guess. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Look away. So I'm not Look watching away. you. Look away. Yeah. You let me know when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Yes. Well, Andy, any any parting thoughts here before no, we? No, I, uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, yeah, allowing so, well, us. Thank to, you so much for coming for to the kitchen. Us. And mm-hmm. No problem. Awesome, awesome food. I'm sad the tongue didn't turn out as good, but well, I think we just I think this is a great example of like like we talked about this at the beginning of the episode that so much of pizza making is experimental, all the yeah. way to finding the dough, to trying the ingredients, to finding stuff that are that hits the one, two, and threes, and then experimenting always on that fourth one is like a really cool thing. And again, uh, as a note, like um, Carly and Scotty here are are just like us from our own brother yeah. of okayest cooks. Like the, we, like we wanted to have this conversation with you guys because yeah. you do this a lot and, and it's a thing that's a part of your family's values and something you guys actually really do as a group. Yeah. And that's really cool. But again, guys like these, is, these guys aren't professionals and that's why yeah. we yeah. wanted to kind of showcase this and, uh, and, and listen <laughs> to like the level that. of, well, just ex- I, what I love about it is the level of like of understanding and like, like time and effort that you guys have put yeah. into this. It's still very, mm-hmm. very cool to see like guys, this is some of the best pizza we've ever had. So, I mean like this is not like a, it's something you can get really good at is you, you know, put some time and attention to it. So, and mm-hmm. it can still be very simple. It's super, super simple, super. I mean, it, we're under such time constraints that it, mm-hmm. again, if it's not just, not just simple, but short. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you have my critique to tell yeah. you. Oh, oh yeah. the, judge. the guiding I mean, light. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, is it good, Scotty? I have my notes. <laughs> Here's a couple <laughs> things we got to try. Yeah, it's like I, no one's complaining about this, so I'll just mark that as a check. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that for Fantastic. next time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, usually we end with a recipe. Yeah. You kind of already gave us the recipe that mm-hmm. I was hoping you would mm-hmm. uh, with your pizza dough. Um, Do you want me to be more specific? I can try to. If you want to get more specific, yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, two cup. I love the King Arthur. Um, so we do two cups of the double zero pizza flour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a half teaspoon of the dry active yeast, and two teaspoons of. I always do the pink Himalayan sea salt because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it looks cool. Mm-hmm. And then you <laughs> do a dry mix. Try to get those ingredients to spread as possible. Uh, then you add two cups of warm water, and I always do my water between one hundred and ten, one hundred fifteen. Um, you mix it and it will come out like pancake batter. That's how mm. you, that's how you know you're doing it right. At oh, this point, okay. does it look like pancake batter? Awesome. Really? And then once it's mixed and it has that pancake batter consistency, then it's two and a half cups, give or take, according to the real <laughs> recipe. Mine is two and a half cups exactly <laughs> to the grain um, of 
bread flour. And again, I use the King Arthur like organic bread flour. Okay. And then uh, do a stand mixer so I can wash things while it's doing its thing. Yep, yeah, got the dough hook and it's going around, around, around. And then uh, I pull it out, I cover it, I send it on the counter, and then I go to bed. I'm going to come back on Friday and make pizza. Mm-hmm. So no, no oil at all? No oil at all. Okay. Yep. Yeah, ours calls for like a ton of oil like just to, oh. I guess, protect it yeah. when uh, it's rising. I, I don't know. I may be like a, a teaspoon of oil I <laughs> put in the bowl. Okay. And it's just the key so I can get so it, it out stick. the next day. It has right. nothing to do sure. with the actual. Yeah. So no, in no oil in it at all. Okay. And then the sauce is the uh, Italian, the San Marzano peeled tomatoes crushed mm-hmm. with, I do uh, one teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of garlic and just like God. one little sprinkle. That sauce Seriously, good. one sprinkle of uh, like Italian seasoning and that's it. And done. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's magical sauce. Yeah. Loved it. Done and done. Um, Last last question. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you think this crust would hold up in like just like a standard oven, like at 400 degrees with a p- pizza stone? Or do you think it needs one of those like ripping hot no, I, ninja I style? Think, no, I think this would be just fine, actually. Because um, my pizza at home, like with my, my bread mm-hmm. that I use my, as crust. My, my pizza bread. <laughs> my pizza bread. It's, I mean, it's in our oven for like 10 minutes on our pizza stone and sure. it comes out great. Yeah. Um, I just... I'm 100% going to experiment with this recipe because I, I love this mm-hmm. and I'm mm-hmm. hoping it'll translate to mine because I don't mm-hmm. have a, a pizza oven. How about yet. a baking steel? Have you guys. A mm. steel? Have you. Corey no. mentioned those. It's like yeah. a baking It's almost like a cast iron so, sheet. But yeah, it's, it's basically like a pizza stone. But yeah, it's like, like a cast iron sheet. You crank hmm. your oven as high as it goes and that the way that the heat transfers to the steel compared to like a pizza mm. stone, stone is different. Yeah. Is different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. Yeah, so Corey does talk about. This. We'll have to ask Corey because I'm he's confident. our cast iron special. I'm confident he knows about this. Yeah, so. it sounds familiar. I've seen a lot of people doing some huh. really amazing looking pizza, and and okay. they're all using that. Uh, How big is this thing? Steel. I have to store somewhere with my knife. <laughs> Obviously, this goes with the knife. It's something, it's in the it's something like that. Well, it fits in your oven. Right? <laughs> you never so take it out, right? It's got to be you know yeah. big enough for a pizza on, uh, to fit on it. But yeah, it's it's really mm-hmm. interesting. Nice. Yeah. I think well, my next purchase needs to be like a peel, like your. Your ninja peel, like I, I need one of those. Mm-hmm. Ah, the mm-hmm. peel comes with the oven. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Scotty does not actually work for ninja. <laughs> I do not work for ninja, <laughs> but I will say <laughs> that's not all that it does. Uh, oh, no. We do steaks once a week on oh, that dude, thing. So okay, good. it's got a cast iron pan, and you add the wood smoke. When you're talking about the pellets, all right, mm-hmm. all right. I have ruined so many steaks. <laughs> Because you don't not in it. that you don't believe previous it. to that yeah mm. you put it in there and it says put it in for uh, it's like six minutes and it's like inch and a half thick steak I'm like six minutes this yeah. is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be moving at so me. six <laughs> minutes it comes out and I stick the thermometer in it and it's like eighty I'm like six minutes and then I put it in for a little longer and it's ruined so finally oh, one no. day I said fine ninja. <laughs> Let's do this. Thing. Six minutes. It goes in there. It comes out. You wrap it in foil. Set it. it. You set it aside. Perfect. Oh my god! I can't so screw good. this up. So <laughs> we started. I started buttering the tin foil. Mm-hmm. I, all my seasoning goes into the butter that's stuck to the tin foil, and I throw that in the fridge. Yeah, smear it on there. Just like mm-hmm. smear it on a real thick. Put a bunch of seasoning on it. Yep. So when yeah. I pull those things out, I put them in there. Wrap them up. And it can sit in that tin foil for 10 minutes. It can mm. sit there for 20 minutes. It doesn't matter. So you can nice. do anything else you want to do if you're doing vegetables, you know, or green beans, almondine, or you know whatever you like to go with your steaks <laughs> alongside it. Just, and then just remember just to take it out. It out. Man, take it out of the man, ninja. it is so perfect good. every single perfect. time. That's you awesome. almost don't want to buy a steak at a store because this is my problem. So this is the problem with you. Like, get get good yep. at grilling. Get good at cooking. Like it's makes, yeah. it makes it makes that is like the problem steaks. about like graduating yeah. from the okayest cook is mm. it kind of ruins mm. a lot of restaurants. Yeah, right. I, I'm relying. <laughs> like, why would I pay that much money at a restaurant yeah. when I make it so good at home? Yeah. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's strictly the technology. It's <laughs> so good that even I can't screw it up. It's oh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, right. All right. Well, we got to cut you off here. Yeah. Really, thank you so much yeah. for having us so yeah. far. Really Just appreciate it. Sure. This is awesome. No, Absolutely no beautiful pizza. Beautiful uh, home. Love what you have going on here. And yeah. Right. yeah. Keep Let's it up. close this thing out and make our last three. We got three more. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys.